Jacob Beninga is the all-time leading scorer in boys basketball at Wayzata High School. And on Wednesday, we'll try to lead the Trojans to their third straight section title. Here's Jason Malolo with this week's Sports Jam Spotlight. He's that special kind of player, a guy who gets better when it matters most. I mean, Jacob's been a huge part of our back-to-back -back state tournament team. Yeah, Jacob's always just been a dog. Like, he never, he's never scared of any moment. Like, he's always been, he steps up for anything. And, like, Jacob always comes up clutch. Like, in the end of games, like, he's always, like, that's when he, like, plays his best is when it matters the most. As a junior, um, last year in the section, in the section finals, I mean, he took over the game. I mean, he, he didn't miss a free throw, hit big shot after big shot. He just had a chip on his shoulder that night that said, we're not losing. And he's done that other times throughout his career, and we hope that he can do it a few more times here in March as a senior. Benega is the all-time leading scorer at YZ. He could always score from the perimeter, but Benega has worked hard to diversify his offensive game. I worked on that a lot. You know, every day I'm kind of working on, I focus on getting the basket more because I'm more naturally like jump shooting and stuff. but. I definitely, every day when I shoot and stuff, I work on shooting at all three levels. I'll do some finishing moves, kind of pull-ups in the mid-range and shoot threes and stuff. So I think working on that every day for really the past four years, I've really worked on being able to score at all three levels, and I think that's really helped me and helped our team be, do really well this year. Jacob is the third Benega brother to come through YZ following Will and Johnny. When Jacob set the new scoring mark at YZ, only a few letters had to be changed in the record book. The previous record holder was Johnny. They played together on the YZ varsity for one season when Johnny was a senior and Jacob a freshman. Jacob credits his older brothers with helping him develop as a basketball player. I think they helped tremendously. It always helps to have older brothers who, who have pushed you throughout my life. And I think that's really helped me because it's helped me become a really competitive person. And so that's carried over to like every day in practice. You know, I'm always wanting to win drills to win shooting contests and stuff and so I think they've had a tremendous impact on me and how my game has developed and how and what person I am today. And now the student has become the teacher. Jacob's younger brother Eddie is a sophomore on the YZ of Varsity. I try to push him to be a lot better player and sometimes if he gets down or something I try to kind of encourage him and say like hey like you, you did a lot of good things for our team, whatever game it was. Like I try to kind of encourage him like that, just how Johnny used to do for me if I was down on myself. And I think that's just the biggest thing is having confidence in yourself. And I try to instill that confidence in him. So. After high school, Jacob will become a student athlete at Minnesota State Moorhead, where he'll reunite with Johnny, who's become a solid collegiate player for the Dragons. It was nice to kind of see that he's already there, kind of know that the Moorhead coaches have been good to him and the community's been good to him and so you kind of see that and it's a really encouraging sign and also he'll be a senior next year my freshman year and so kind of having him there to help me ease into the transition of college life will be is good it was a huge factor in my decision and just that comfortability piece was really big for me. Jacob Benega is one of the best players to ever suit up for the Trojans but the ride isn't over yet and Beninga hopes it doesn't end until March 23rd at Target Center. In addition to Eddie, Jacob Beninga has two other younger brothers. Nick is in eighth grade and Max is in fourth. Both, of course, play basketball.